Now, if you follow my channel, you know I reviewed my share of business-focused or enterprise-focused laptops, two-in-one convertibles here on the channel. And in particular, I'm a big fan of the Elite Book line from HP. They make some of the best high-end business-focused or enterprise-focused convertibles and laptops. There's no doubt about it. So I just took delivery of one that I think really hits the mark. It's the HP Elite Dragonfly Chromebook, new for 2022. Now, what this brings to the table is all the high-end features from the Elite Book and the Dragonfly line put into this laptop. Three to two aspect ratio on that 13.5 inch display, absolutely gorgeous. It's got the really premium build quality we know from the Dragonflies in the past. And it has a 12th gen Alder Lake processor that has some of the best performance we've ever seen on a Chromebook. A five megapixel 1080p webcam that is absolutely stunning, it's really good. And it also has the optional LTE and 5G, which will be coming later this year. I have the one with the LTE. Let's see if this all comes together to make this a worthy business enterprise two-in-one convertible. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the HP Elite Dragonfly Chromebook here for 2022. Coming up. Now, before we get to the unboxing, I want to let everybody know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. HP is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this review unit is on loan from HP. And once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. And right now, HP is running a sale over its website for the July 4th weekend, starting at a price of $1558.80. That's a lot of money off of the initial asking price. According to their website, that's $606.20 off that initial asking price. Now, I want you to keep something in mind. This is really not a consumer-based Chromebook or consumer-based laptop. This is an enterprise or business-focused laptop that is a very high-end device with very high-end features that is tailored toward that business or enterprise user they tend to buy these in bulk and will receive a discount from hp when they buy in numbers just keep that in mind but because this is a dragonfly part of the elite book line it's the really high-end materials here used and i can see consumers buying this because it is that good now for those interested i'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one and with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. You get a pretty compact 45 watt USB-C power adapter and they give you the extension cord as well. And you get some documentation which includes some warranty information and of course you get the unit itself. Now holding the unit for the first time, the first thing that comes to mind is this premium high-end build with it. Now this is a magnesium aluminum hybrid materials used here and they're really rock solid with very little flex or give in the chassis. Now at 2.8 pounds or 1.27 kilograms, very portable, easy to take with you on the go. And not only is this thin and light to take with you, throw it in your bag when you're on the road, but it's always connected with the optional LTE and soon to come 5G modem that will be offered with this laptop. Okay, let's check out the port selection. Let's start off on the left side. We get an HDMI 2.0 port, one USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port that is full function. It supports data charge, display out, a micro SD card reader, your power button, and then you have your volume rocker up and down. And moving over to the right side is the SIM tray for the optional LTE and 5G, which is coming later on this year. And then you get a Kensington lock port, a second USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port that's also full function, and a drop jaw USB-A port. And next to that is a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack to round out the ports on this laptop. And I gotta say, all in all, a very good port selection. And I love the fact that they put the two USB-C ports, which are Thunderbolt 4 ports, on opposite sides of each other. I hate when they bunch them together. This way, they're separated. I like that. 
Now, when it comes to the display, there's three options. There is a full HD option, which is 1920 by 1280. Then there's another one with the shore view, bright view display that can get as bright as a thousand nits. That's another option that business users might want to go with, especially for that shore view privacy. And then, of course, the one we have here today, which I think is a sweet spot here, 13.5 inch bright view display with a resolution of 2256 by 1504. Now, these are all, of course, touchscreens since this is a convertible. Now, this will get as bright as 400 nits, and I like that because that's going to be good for both indoor and outdoor use. And although it is a glossy display, there's hardly any glare or reflection, so they put a nice coating on it to prevent that glare. So that's been pretty good so far. This is probably one of the best displays I've seen on a Chromebook, that's for sure. You get the really deep blacks, the really vibrant colors, and the really high contrast. It almost looks OLED in a sense, but it's not. It's an IPS display, and it's really of high quality. There's no doubt about it. It's got good coverage of the color gamut, and it has very good color accuracy as well. And I love the fact that they went with a three to two aspect ratio, giving you a taller nature. And in my opinion, this is the optimal aspect ratio for cloud-based computing. Navigating through the OS has been great with this taller display. And it also is great for web browsing. You'll see more on the display. You'll actually do less scrolling when it comes to web browsing. The drawback, of course, is if you're watching Netflix, Amazon, or YouTube, or any movies or anything like that or that are optimized for a 16 to nine display, then you're going to have some black bars on the top and the bottom. But that's a trade-off I'm willing to accept because I do like getting work done on a 3 to 2 display. Now, this is very similar, of course, to the Surface devices by Microsoft, which have a 3 to 2 aspect ratio as well. So this is the front-facing camera on the HP Elite Dragonfly Chromebook here for 2022, a very premium, and I think finally I can say a Chromebook that we can really use, especially enterprise business users. Uh, this is very functional, and I think one of the things you're seeing here is this really nice uh, full HD webcam, and I think it's going to do well when it comes to Zoom and all your work from home needs. Uh, what do you think about the video quality? What do you think about the audio quality? I know HP and and Google work very closely to make it a good experience. Now, one thing to note, there is a shutter switch allowing you to get more security and privacy when you need it. I like that. And of course, uh, there's also a lot of features with this. But again, I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. And for those wondering, yes, you can open the lid with one finger. That's not something we normally see on a two-in-one convertible, so that's good. Now, the hinges are pretty sturdy and tight, although there will be a little bit of screen wobble, which is inherent in any two-in-one convertible design. Now, the keyboard is excellent. I like the key travel, I like the tactility, and it's very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. The keyboard is one of its strong suits here. It also has a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment, and you can control that either in the software or you can control the keyboard backlight on the dedicated key on the keyboard. That's great. And they're going with a haptic touchpad rather than using a traditional touchpad. This gives you haptic feedback when you press down and click on it. I thought it was very responsive and one of the best haptic touchpads I've ever used. It's on par with that of a MacBook Pro. And what's interesting is not only is it a nicely sized touchpad, but it's also a three to two aspect ratio matching that of the display. Now the two finger scrolling was buttery smooth and all the gestures work as you'd expect. Good job on this haptic touchpad. And this being a two-in-one convertible means you can put it into the different modes. You got the tent mode, great for consuming media, watching Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube. The same could be said for the stand or presentation mode. That is also great for watching movies. And of course, you could always put it into the tablet mode, great for use with the pen. And speaking of the pen, so far it's been working out pretty well. It's got good pressure sensitivity. It was good for taking notes, sketching out artwork, everything you'd ask it to do. It's been doing very well. And I love the fact that it charges magnetically when you attach it to the side. You don't have to worry about getting any batteries or anything like that. And it charges very quickly. And I love the fact that HP makes it easy to get inside this laptop. All you need to do is remove the six T5 Torx screws, pry off the bottom plate with either a guitar pick or a pry tool, and that's it. You're in. 
Now, once you're inside, you'll notice that there are two fans for cooling. I thought the thermals are very good. The fan noise, very quiet, never get overly loud, even when you put it under heavy load. So that's been pretty good. Now, you'll also notice that it has a 50 watt hour battery. We'll get to the battery life and charging times later on in this review. Now, the RAM is soldered into the motherboard. Now, this has eight gigabytes of RAM and it has 256 gigs of SSD storage, which is user upgradable. So if you want to add more storage later on, you can since it is slotted in. That's good. It also has Wi-Fi 6E along with Bluetooth 5.2, and that's been pretty good. I've had no issues. And my review unit has the optional mobile broadband. It has the Intel XMM 7360 LTE Advanced Cat 9 broadband wireless card. And I love having that always on connection. Now, later on, you can get it with 5G. That will be available later this year. And as expected, the performance is actually very good on this. Now, this sports that 12th gen Alder Lake processor, the Core i5-1245U from Intel. And as you can see from the Geekbench single core and multi-core scores, it did well when you compare it to other Chromebooks in this category. Google Docs, Google Sheets, all that worked well. Consuming media, watching Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, all worked without a hitch on this laptop. And it scored a 208 on the speedometer 2.0 test ahead of the pack. That's very good. The HP Elite Dragonfly Chromebook sports a 50 watt hour battery, and it did eight hours and six minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits, which is I think is okay, but when you compare it to some other Chromebooks, it didn't do quite as well. But I think eight hours is definitely fine. But again, other Chromebooks will give you more longevity for those that are wondering. Now the included 45 watt USB-C power adapter charges pretty fast, giving you a full charge in a little bit less than an hour and a half that's pretty fast indeed now when it comes to the audio this has quad speakers that are tuned by bang and olufsen and the sound is actually pretty good although i thought it could use a little bit more bass but for a thin and light convertible it's actually pretty good now to give a listen to this or example of it let's listen to epidemic sound and if you want to save 10 percent on epidemic sound see the link in the description below now let's give it a listen And of course, this being a Chromebook means you're going to run Android apps natively, which is a great addition to this. And you could also run Linux. So this makes it a very premium high-end Linux machine at the end of the day. It also is Chromebook for Enterprise with support for vPro. So you can have a lot of high-end security features that business and enterprise users require. And if you are that Chromebook Enterprise user, you're going to get Parallels for free for one year. That's going to be able to run Windows on this machine, which is also great, especially for those that need Windows applications that you can't run on the Chrome OS. That's a great addition as well. Okay, let's bring it all home. What do I think about the HP Elite Dragonfly Chromebook here for 2022? And I got to say, with hands down, this is probably the best Chromebook I've used to date. There's no doubt about it. It's got a premium 13.5 inch display, premium build and construction. There is no doubt about it. This fits in right with the other Elite books, right with the other Dragonflies. It's got a really nice performance out of this, out of that 12th gen Alder Lake processor. It's got outstanding haptic touch touchpad here really on par with that even of the macbook pro which i think is the best in the business it's that good an excellent keyboard really comfortable for typing on for extended periods of time has a really nice backlight on it very clear very easy to read in dark uh, rooms or dimly lit environments it's really good i love the inclusion of two thunderbolt 4 ports i love having that optional wireless wan right now 4g lte but 5g will be coming later this year so that's a nice option that will be coming 
Now, the things I'm not so crazy about, the social battery life, and of course, since this is geared towards enterprise and business users, it can get expensive, although they will buy these in bulk and will get discounts from HP. But for the average consumer, this might be overkill, but for those that want a premium Chromebook that doesn't sacrifice in terms of the build, the display, the options in terms of that five megapixel camera, which was actually really good with 1080p video, this is a great choice, although it can get expensive. Now this is hands down the best Chromebook I've used to date. I'm gonna give this a score of 89%, earning my editor's choice for the two-in-one convertible Chromebook category. And it is definitely a buy if you are a business or enterprise user, that's for sure. This is the one to look at. So what do you think about this bad boy, the Elite Dragonfly Chromebook Premium, beautiful, love the design, love the fact that it has Thunderbolt 4 ports, love the 13-point-inch high-res display, 3 to 2 aspect ratio, the pen sticks magnetically and charges while it sticks there, of course, that's great, charges fast, works well for taking notes, sketching at artwork, really high-end performance here out of that Core i5-1245U. It has vPro support, so you get a lot of the security features business and enterprise users require. You can run Linux on this, you can run Android apps on this, you could also get Parallels for free for one year for those Chromebook enterprise users. That's free for one year, and that allows you to run Windows. So a lot of versatility. This by far, ladies and gentlemen, has to be the best Chromebook I've used to date. Now, the things I'm not so crazy about, the so-so battery life. I got a little bit over eight hours on my continuous web surfing test. You could do better on other Chromebooks, but certainly not bad, but just there are other ones that are better out there. It's got a 50 watt hour battery. The pen works great, as I mentioned. Uh, there's very little negatives on this other than the fact that you're going to pay a premium for the high-end components used in this. Speaking of which, the five megapixel camera on this was very good, 1080p resolution. I thought it was one of the best ones I've seen out there. I know Google and HP work very closely to bring you a good experience as far as that video and audio is concerned. Speaking of the audio, quad speakers were really good on this, though they could have used a little bit more bass, but quad speakers on a thin and light two in one convertible, not bad at all. So really a complete package here, especially for that business and enterprise users. Now you're gonna get on me as far as why would I wanna buy a Chromebook? This is not a consumer-based laptop. It's meant for business users, enterprise users who tend to buy these in bulk and they need these security features that vPro brings, the high-end components that this brings, and especially the optional 4G LTE or the upcoming 5G. That makes this a really nice mobile solution. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in that comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Thank you.